and learn about Jewish day and we are going to the Jewish museum to die. Um, to the Egyptian museum. Jewish. 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 To see how the, the Jewish people used to love and how the people used to kill them. I don't really know what this do means. I don't, maybe I'm gonna find out there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Our faith and their faith are almost similar but not similar, similar. They just believe in it's something different. They don't believe in Jesus. That's all I wanna learn about them. In case I get a Jew friend. This was the first time I've been to a museum and it was nice to see because you always see it on the TV and you wish that you can see it in real life. What does that sound like? The kids who come through as part of the outreach program have never met Jewish people and have no idea of what they're all about. So this is a wonderful opportunity to demystify Jews for them. We went there, my heart was beating like a, like a nervous feeling. When they said that it was old, I didn't believe it because it was like beautiful, there was no dust and things like that. This is real wood, this is a wagon. When I walked into the museum, I thought, are those really the things that people were using in the olden times? Right. Anybody have any idea where we are sitting now? What is this? Excellent. It's a shtetl. A shtetl is a little village where Jews from Eastern Europe used to live about 150 years ago. If you go to a dinosaur museum, then they teach you how dinosaurs used to live. And when you go to the Jewish museum, they teach you how Jews used to live and what they used to use. Let me show you. Come and have a look in here. On the side, you can see a table where the teacher used to sit. There, a small little table, small, different to the tip. Yes, all the children have to fit there. Um, sometimes there were about 20 children. For us, it's very important to build bridges between different communities. We are a minority group, one of many. And it's just important that people integrate and have a deep understanding of each other and their cultures. I want each of you to take a bundle. Remember, you've come from Eastern Europe. You've had a long journey. Are they heavy? No? Pretend that they're heavy. Before, they were like in, I think, Germany, then they came back to Cape Town because the people like against them wanted them to change to their religion, so they had to travel back to Cape Town. Now remember, you've come up with your bundles and you're at the docks, you are Jews who've left Eastern Europe and you've come to Cape Town and I want you to write about how you're feeling. Okay, put that there. I felt very sad to leave my husband and children back in Russia. I better write to them. I wish that what is my Taza would set them free. <clears throat> I wonder how am I going to make a living? I promise that I will send lots and lots of money. I feel really bad now. <laughs> the South African Jewish Museum decided to run this program because they wanted to include children who have not had any contact with Jewish people. It's not only about religion, it's about learning about each other. We go through concepts like xenophobia, anti-Semitism, discrimination and prejudice, but we do it in an interactive way so that it becomes real. Prejudice. Say it again. Prejudice. 
Prejudice. Prejudice. Okay. I only thought that they're gonna show us like about the Jewish people, but there was about apartheid and Nelson Mandela. It was nice to see that they also show the people here in South Africa also. Do, do Jew, pe Jewish people believe in God and God the Son and the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in No, no, we don't believe in Jesus. We just believe in God. Why? Why? Um, oh, they asked lots of questions. I think they asked a few times what it feels like to be Jewish and whether I'm happy to be Jewish. So it got me to think about my feelings of identity. At the end of the day, we all meet in the synagogue. It's just a lovely way of ending off the program. I thought that Jewish people are weird, and when they said that we had to respect other people's religions, then I said to myself, it's not weird when other people believe in other stuff. I learned that they have a Torah, and they can't touch it with their hands. They have to touch it with a kind of a stick. Thing. The dome, the round dome. They call the, the preacher, the rag guy and rag, rabbi. It was a nice feeling for me to go there because nothing went wrong with anything. It was just perfect the way it was. I would love to go again. And when you go home, you remember one thing, that it doesn't matter if you are Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Baha'i. Everybody must be treated with respect. About me, I uh, learned that I actually like Jewish music. Yeah, and, and it's so slow and soft, it soothes you. It goes like this.